Hello, my name is Adam Jones. I am a senior sales engineer with TASTOP Technologies, who is a partner with 321 Gang. At TASTOP, we help typically larger software development organizations eliminate a lot of waste that happens in the software development process. And we do that principally through integration. So we will integrate tools, for example, RTC to Jira. And by doing so, we eliminate a lot of double entry, a lot of picking up the phone call and wondering what's going on with this story or this defect. Because with integration, you can synchronize all your statuses instantaneously back into, say, RTC or to Jira, and it lets everyone know what's going on with their colleagues and teammates, and it prevents a lot of emails from flying around and doing double entry, having your email open on one side of the screen and, say, RTC on the other, and entering the stuff for the developer who's working in Jira. So it greatly improves the work workflow throughout the day and increases developer productivity and overall engagement and happiness. I've been doing this for several years, and with TaskTop, I've helped about 12 of the Fortune 100 streamline their software development process with integration. So with that, we will get into the demo. So when TaskTop and 321 Gang work together, we often see companies um, where certain teams want to stay in their tool. We see it where you might have a management team or an analyst team maybe working in RTC because that's where they have all their reports and they need that for compliance. But then there will be a development team that has experience in JIRA and they want to stay in JIRA. So they've got their workflow in JIRA, management has their workflow in RTC. No one wants to change. And with TaskTop, you don't have to force people to change. You can actually integrate those two tools so the JIRA developer is getting data from RTC, from their management team, from their analysts, their product managers, et cetera, and they can see that instantly in JIRA. And likewise, when the developer finishes a work item, they can push that status back into RTC so management can get their reports and be happy um, with the progress of the development team. So we're going to see um, a example of that today. We're going to look at, a, at the RTC instance I have here and also the JIRA instance here. And we're going to synchronize some epics, stories, and defects back and forth and see how integration can really eliminate a lot of emails flying around, a lot of double entry, and allow each team to stay really in their preferred tool. So with that, let's go ahead and build a new story here in RTC. You'll notice we've got four stories here. And over here in JIRA, those are being synchronized currently. Um, let's go ahead and add a new story. And we'll call this our sample story for the 321 Gang webinar. And we'll make sure that we complete our required fields here. Put in the, make sure it gets to JIRA. So this is a custom field that we have. You don't necessarily need this, but it helps us because we integrate to so many tools. And we'll go ahead and click Save. So at this point, TaskTop is detecting a change in the REST API of RTC, and it is synchronizing the story over to JIRA. So if we now look in JIRA here, we can see that pretty much instantaneously that story popped up. So the analyst in RTC didn't have to send an email with a bunch of information to the developer. Um, the developer gets it immediately in their environment and they can begin to work. But let's say they don't quite have enough information to work. Well, what we can do here is we can start a comment thread down here in JIRA and say, thanks, but I need more info. So we've got a comment thread here in JIRA started, and then if we go over to RTC, we can see that it's already detected, detected that there's been a change. We refresh here, and we can see the comment from JIRA came into RTC. So now as an analyst, let's say, okay, I need to get my developer some more information so they can 
build out the tool. Um, they can build out the story rather. So let's go ahead and give our developer more information. We'll say no problem. See links and attachment. So what we're going to do here is add some links. So we'll link it to an epic so they can know what epic it's related to. And then we'll link it to RTC epic one there and we'll go ahead and uh, drop a file in there. Maybe it's a, a specification file or any type of binary file there is supported and we can go ahead and save that. So we've given our developer more information. They didn't have to run down the hall. They didn't have to send us an email or pick up the phone. The request was tied directly to the work item. And if we go back into JIRA and hit refresh, you can now see that that file came over from RTC as well. That comment came over and we can see that it's related to this RTC epic now. And if we actually click on that epic, it'll take us into that epic in JIRA, even though that epic was originally defined in RTC. So um, this is obviously an abbreviated development process, but you can imagine the developer is working in JIRA and they might find a defect or their tester might find a defect. So let's go ahead and create a defect here in JIRA and link it to this story. So we're gonna create a defect and we'll say this is a sample defect for the demo. This will go to RTC and we'll go ahead and create that here. And if we go now back to RTC, we can see that the defect has actually been added as well. There it is. But we need to link it to the requirement. So let's go ahead and do that. So if the analyst has full knowledge there that this defect is related to a particular requirement. So we will add a link here. And we're going to use the is blocked by link and we'll say sample defect for the demo and go ahead and link that. So now the developer, rather the analyst over here in RTC can see, oh, this is, there's a defect for this here um, that I should be aware of. Um, we're going to fast forward now and just pretend that the story is fully baked and pretty much done. Um, uh, actually, we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to, we're going to st start progress and we're going to end up resolving this issue. You're going to see how that works in the workflow. So if we come in to Jira, we set the, the, we change the status here. The status change has been picked up here. Uh, it's, it's in progress now. So at least the analyst knows that the developer has been working on it. And then finally we can, we can resolve that issue in Jira. And then the analyst will know that, Hey, this is, this has been implemented. So let's go ahead and resolve this issue. So the benefit here is the analyst isn't wondering, Hey, what's going on? Or the manager isn't wondering, What's going on with the uh, with with the with this story? I need to talk to Bob uh, at lunch, or I need to call him at eleven o'clock at night because uh, this this really has to get done before the weekend. All this all the status values are synchronized, so you know, and you can you can run reports. So if you want to run a report in RTC now, the status has the core status of this story has been changed, so you can use it in your reporting that you have set up in RTC and, and you know that the, the this is tracking what the developer is doing in real time so there's a lot less wondering about what's going on. So that gives you an idea of the front end benefits um, of the integration. So a lot less double entry for the RTC team and the JIRA team, less wondering, um, a lot more uh, ability to stay apprised, uh, to really just be on the same page. So there's a lot less wondering. So what we're going to do now is go in and look at the back end 
of the tool and how easy this is to set up. What we're looking at now is the actual Arlia task top application. This is where you come and configure the synchronization properties in order to get RTC to sync to JIRA. So what you're looking at is only going to be seen by a handful of administrators. End users never know it's there. So you might designate one or two, maybe three people in larger organizations that will come in and administer this and set up these integrations. And let's look at what is involved in setting up integration. The principal thing is to connect to the repository. So you'll notice that we're connecting to the URL. This is the RTC URL, this is the JIRA URL. You provide the URL and you provide a set of credentials. At that point, we will begin talking to the REST API. All the communication we do is through the REST API. You do not have to install a plugin in JIRA, nor do you have to install a plugin in RTC. This tool you're looking at will sit on a virtual machine, likely behind your firewall somewhere. It doesn't consume a lot of resources. Um, the minimum required memory is about four gigs. It's Java based. It's very easy to install. It's about 300 megabytes and it's, uh, it's been around for a number of years, so it is very stable. So once you've got that connection established to the two tools, you're going to decide, okay, what subset of stories do I want to deal with in RTC and in JIRA? And in both of these cases, you will define a query in the tool or a favorite filter. So here we're using this favorite filter in JIRA called JIRA Stories for IBM RTC. And in RTC, we have a query set up for stories right here. And the TaskTop tool will can pick up those queries and read those queries. So we're only going to be paying attention to the artifacts that exist in those queries that you defined in either RTC and JIRA. Once you've done that, you will come in and set up your attribute mapping. And this is where you pick your field for field mapping. As long as you have the required fields, the synchronization is going to work. So in JIRA, out of the box, required is, I think, summary and priority. And then in RTC, out of the box, required, I think, is filed against and summary. So you don't need many, uh, many required fields to get going. And then after you've established the synchronization for those required fields, you can go ahead and add extra fields, including custom fields, as you can see here. The Epic link is a custom field. Um, you can add as many as you'd like. As you can see, there are a lot of blank spaces here. So if you have another 10 fields or so, um, that's no problem. In production deployments, we typically see about 15 fields being synchronized. You might notice with these arrows here, you are able to control the directionality of each field. You can make one repository the source of truth so that it always overwrites the other repository or you can have the data flow back and forth equally. When it comes to items like uh, priority, where you have a list of priorities in RTC and a list of priorities in JIRA, we have a way of easily mapping those. So the, there's not an impedance mismatch if you've got four values as we do here in RTC for priorities and five for JIRA and they're named differently as well we can handle that pretty quickly. So it should be said that everything you saw previously on the front end where we looked at the JIRA UI and the RTC UI and we saw, we saw stories flying back and forth and defects and act, the act, maintaining of the relationships, all of that was set up without any scripting whatsoever. So this is merely a configuration type of setup. You don't have to script anything. You can write some custom extensions if you want to do some exotic item uh, tasks, um, field munging, or um, there are a number of fancy things you can do with some extensions, but you don't have to. Out of the box, you can get an integration up and running merely by configuration, and the actual process of setting up the integration will probably take you a couple of hours if it's a simple one. Most of the work will come in when you're sitting down with both teams, talking to the RTC team, talking to the JIRA team, 
and deciding really what's important from their perspectives. There's a bit of marriage counseling involved. That's probably the hardest part of the process. We wanted to make the technical part of it very easy um, for you to set up. So it's it's just a matter of, of configuration and you're up and running. Um, there's no training for the end users to undergo. Your admins might want to go through some training, which we can provide, but as soon as you get that integration up and running here, your end users will be able to reap benefit immediately. They will start to see their JIRA instance populated with the RTC data and vice versa, and that's going to immediately cut down on those emails flying around and the onerous double entry that has to be done without integration. So that pretty much concludes the technical demonstration. I would be happy to answer any questions as they come. You can also reach out to 321 Gang and they can get in touch with me. Thank you for listening today and I hope you can envision this cutting your development times in your software development organization. Thank you.